Amy Mitchell back inside the ring with Ray Florence. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we continue with action. Six rounds this in the Bantamweight division, brought to you by Salida Promotion, sponsored by the Dort Financial Center, Bet Online, and Veggie. Your three judges scoring this contest at ringside will be Catilia Chambers, David DeYoung, and Pat Schmidt. And the referee in charge when the bell sounds. The third man inside the ring is Gerard White. Introducing first, fighting to my left out of the red corner. She comes in wearing the black trunks, trump with the gold. Weighing in officially at 119.6 pounds. Her record, 12 wins, 15 losses, three draws. Two wins coming by way of a knockout. Hailing from St. Petersburg, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Noemi Bosquez. And across the ring, her opponent fighting out of the blue corner. She comes in wearing the black and gold, weighing in officially at 120 pounds. Her record, five wins, no losses, two bouts even, including three wins coming by way of a knockout. Joining us from Pacific Grove, California, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jamie Miracle. And referee in charge here to give instructions, Gerard White. Fighters, two seconds, fighters. Okay, ladies, you went over the rules in the dressing room, okay? I expect a good, clean fight. Keep them up, touch them up, let's go to work. Mitchell and Bosquez getting ready to go. Jamie Mitchell with the uh, black and gold trim. Noemi Bosquez pretty but much with the identical. She, has the, <laughs> she does have the yellow ribbon, though. Uh, yeah, so it's black and gold and black and gold with the gold ribbon. Jamie Mitchell with the black gloves. Bosquez with the white and gold gloves. And Jamie Mitchell coming out quick. Oh, with a Jamie series Mitchell. Of punches, and she is putting hands on Bosquez. From the minute that she was getting the last instructions, there was no eye contact. Jamie Mitchell is here, and she's a woman in a mission. Like she said, she's world championship material. She just needs the world to know and see her. And she's displaying beautiful, beautiful combinations. It pasted Bosquez with a right cross. And she is letting the jab do in the leading here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Crisp three-punch combo for Mitchell. Four. You know something, in our fighter meetings with Mitchell, she was asked what her reach was. She says she, she manipulates <laughs> that reach. And we have already seen it here in the first round with the way she uses that jab. She says she adjusts. She, she admits to the fact that she's short for the division. Her arms are short for the division, but she knows how to adjust it. And if you can see, her left leg is on a constant move. She's constantly on her toes, and she makes that those very quick movements that just kind of eats up space. Mitchell did not fight in 2020. And took a majority draw against Britton Hart back in August of 2019 at the Thomas and Mack Center in Las Vegas. There, you know what? I would contest that decision. Unfortunately, I, I'm, I don't have any power to do that. <laughs> but when you look at the fight in the just punch production, just aggression, effective aggression. She was way, way over. So I don't know what the judges. there two in particular 
but she stayed with it. Stayed with Urbina, was outpunched by a large margin, and she kept going. Started round number two between Mitchell and Bosquez. Beautiful jab that splits the guard to open things up here in round two. And now we can see the confidence in Mitchell, especially Take when she's letting that jab down. Takes that one punch. Yes, that's all that it takes it. sometimes. Found that up moments later with a crisp two punch combo. And she is doing a nice job connecting here against Bosquez in the early going. You know, she, she worked under Kenny Adams and Eddie Mustafa Mohammed. Those are masters. She was number one ranked in the amateurs, and you can see why. Mm -hmm. Actually using the size, using the timing, whipping it all together before attacking here against Bosquez, who's not a little slow on their feet. She's, she's more of a brawler. She just tends to sit in her punches. I just don't like her sitting there so long without doing anything, which allows Mitchell to come in, and she's so much faster. And that's what the result would be. They're on close range. Mitchell backs her up, and she comes in. A right cross, and another one. Brushing back Bosquez. Those right hooks went right into the rib cage, and those end up hurting a lot, and that brings the elbows down Are you and opens the face for that. Yeah, we just saw her go downstairs two, mm -hmm. two specific instances there. Are you surprised that she hasn't done it as, as frequent as we're seeing her go upstairs? Um, you were to think that she would because of her amateur background, but again, she's, she's crafty, and she's looking for those openings. And she's systematically working for that guard to come down, so she will go for the head. But once you go into the laterals, elbows will go down, automatically face is open, guard is open. And she's looking for that knockout tonight. And she has the power to do it. Already three under her belt, looking for her fourth knockout here tonight in her first six round fight. This is a step up because five of Jamie Mitchell's seven opponents were winless or, or, or making their pro debuts. The others were 500 fighters. I don't know, Miami Boss, guys, you look at the record, 12, 15, and three, but you see a lot of experience. Mm -hmm. Bosquez is really taking advantage of what the sport of boxing has given to her. She has traveled worldwide as a yeah. professional. She had a boxing match in Africa halted due to COVID-19, but she has traveled to fight in New Zealand, China, Mexico, India, and plenty in her backyard in St. Petersburg, Florida. You know, we're Jamie's sticking to a one, two, one, two, and just that steak right in front of her. Mm -hmm. Keeping Bosquez at a distance. But Boskis is already feeling a little bit of that punishment, especially on that left cheekbone. Boskis back on the heels here in round three. Jab to the stomach from Mitchell. Mitchell caught Boskis lunging. We can hear Tony Morgan yelling instructions to keep the defense tight, but it's really difficult when you have somebody with that Hunter spirit. And Bosquez is vulnerable to that right hand. Yeah, ask the cheekbone. You hear Tony Morgan. Yes. Watch it out for that right hand. But she cannot neutralize it as it, there's no lateral movement. And at this point in time, she's only moving back and forth. Noemi Bosquez's his last win actually came against Charlie Barnett in September of 2019. Good
combo with that right hand to the body for Mitchell. Trying to put some water in the basement here. Noemi Bosquez as we round things down in this round here from Flint. So I, it's amazing she loses no composure, Jamie Mitchell. Even, I mean, she's easily dominating the rhythm and the tempo of the fight, and there is no, okay, let me get this done real quick. No, she just does what she needs to do, steps a step, takes a step back, allows her opponent to breathe. Solid fighter. Reserve demeanor. Very. And we, you know, we said it at the top of our broadcast, she really does personify women's plight yes. in boxing here. If we have seen anybody that has yes. taken a long road, like any single lady that decides to be in boxing, it's Jamie Mitchell's one. She was barely given a chance. Just 10 days old, she was abandoned by her mother due to her drug addiction. And there's no known information about her father. She's in the California foster care system. She suffered starvation, physical torture, and ended up being placed in close to 50 homes, but she was persevering. Moved to Las Vegas. She lives there, trains there full time. And she's come out sharp here tonight on this all women's pay-per-view card here against Noemi Vasquez. You're in round four. Her strength and conditioning coach, Dewey Cooper, said I do not need to push her to train. Her conditioning is superb, and you can see that. And she paces herself beautifully. Mitchell landed five, a fight high, 25 punches in round number three. Able to brush that right hand underneath the guard, the uppercut after a couple of right hooks. Defense is loose, left hook knocks back Vasquez. Well, that's one of the things that I I was looking to see improvement in somebody like Naomi. Defense has always been porous. She's always taken over 43 to 50% of the punches coming from her opponents. And she only lands like 20%. And her jab, which is non-existent, has landed only 2.9%. She was told that? Yes. The, the additional, you know, the upwards of 40%. She yes. was shocked. She did not. No, she was even more shocked about the fact that she only lands less than 3% of her jabs, but how can you land something that you don't throw? Oh, stiff left hook. That move back, Bosquez. Look at that beautiful head movement by Mitchell. Just, just slight movement. Even on the jab. Yes. Round four comes to a close, and it is all Jamie Mitchell so far. This is the interesting part when in that fight against Britton Hart, she landed a total of 41% in her power punches. That is way above the average in that division for ladies. And yet, somehow she came out with a draw. Then again, I just look for damage. I, 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 I am going to be honest, I like the aggressive fighters. I like those fighters that look for the fight, that are a game that are aggressive, that walk their opponents down. I like that. Here we go with the start of round number five. On a scheduled six round bout between two bantamweights, Jamie Mitchell out of Las Vegas and Noemi Bosquez wearing that yellow ribbon and she's been wearing a lot of right hands from Jamie Mitchell. And left too. That left hook came with a lot of poison. At the end of round four, yes. I just find interesting that Noemi Vasquez, Bosquez, enjoys walking into the ring. She enjoys the training, the conditioning, the commitment. And, and when I see her 
I want to see improvement because I know sh there's something in her. But again, even her footwork is just not there. Mitchell might have rocked Bosquez and hurt her here yes. with the right hand, and down goes Bosquez. No, he tripped on her on the mat, on the canvas. She was stumbling. She was stumbling from the combination prior. I'm wondering if Mitchell senses that. Of course. I'm going to kick up the tempo a little bit further here, with 45 seconds to go on round number five. She's hunting. They, she's hunting her down. Another right hand. And Bosquez trying to hold on. Get back to the center of the ring. Bosquez continuing to come forward. Yeah, now Jamie Mitchell has no respect for whatever Noemi Vasquez has to offer. And this is the result. You're just holding her head down. And it's waved off. Yep, and that's it. It was nothing. I said Bosquez was moving forward moments ago. I obviously made an error there. All she's been doing was going back the entire night. Mitchell putting on a clinic, picking up her fourth stoppage of her pro career. All the credit to somebody like Noemi Bosquez that comes in, she's willing to just get in the ring with somebody with that type of power only on a 10 day notice. Gerard White stopping it. And Noemi Bosquez is trainer Tony Morgan not agreeing with Gerard White and what he saw. But there's too limited activity from Bosquez in answering what Mitchell was throwing at her the entire fight. And that's what I was looking forward to, seeing improvement, like I said, not just defense, but production in, in punches. Gerard White stops it. Jamie Mitchell picks up her fourth knockout. Ray Flores making it official. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 1 minute 49 seconds of the fifth round. Referee in charge, Gerard Wright, waves off the contest for your winner by technical knockout and still undefeated, Jamie Miracle Mitchell.